And as we keep saying, the biggest concern as we head into the night is that life-threatening storm surge we mentioned. Water pushed inland by the powerful winds. Already we've seen the surge break records along parts of this coast. And Governor DeSantis just saying it appears the surge has now peaked. Kerry Sanders is in Punta Gorda. Kerry, what are you seeing? Well, Lester, we're on the back end now where the back eye wall is coming through. We've had some of the strongest winds here so far. Uh, I'm inside a parking garage area, so we're somewhat protected, but the winds are furious. And as the winds are blowing, there are cases at certain points. There are things flying in the wind, like roofing shingles. It's going to be a very long time to get in a battle, uh, to get an assessment of what's happened here, because it's starting to get dark, and when this storm finally passes through and the rain quits around midnight, then we'll wait for the sunlight to really see how bad it is. This is what storm surge looks like. The bathtub warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico inundating the streets of Naples, pushing some cars out of their spaces, causing waves of water to rise over the roofs. So there's the wind speed as I'm standing next to a building, which is somewhat protecting me. Okay. So I'll take a knee. Whoops. If I can take a knee here. There we go. Meanwhile, here in Punta Gorda, where the winds reached more than 100 miles per hour, the streets are flooded and littered with tree limbs and debris. This parking garage has become a refuge for residents. James Brown with his dog Oliver. We have two feet of water. And if it's a 16 or 17 then, foot. Then we'd, be, we'd be very happy to be here. This is a remarkable display of the force of Mother Nature. This is the Charlotte Harbor Marina here. The wind has actually sucked all the water out. I mean, that's just the bottom of the seabed. And over there, that's heading south towards the hurricane. The counterclockwise motion pulling the water from the Peace River and Charlotte Harbor away. Experts say the warming waters of the Gulf may be attributed to climate change. 40 years ago, the average temperature of the Gulf of Mexico was approximately three degrees cooler. That small increase makes a huge difference. That warm water fuels the monster storm in just 24 hours, increasing wind speed by 35 miles per hour, a phenomenon known as rapid intensification. Ian jumped from a Category 3 to a strong 4. Scientists say that will become more common as the Earth's oceans continue to warm. With the second longest coastline in any state, the Florida Peninsula is vulnerable to storm surges like we've seen today, especially on the Gulf Coast, where Ian is slamming the coastline. The shallow seabed here, less than 100 feet deep, makes it easy for a storm with strong winds to push an enormous amount of water into the coast. Rushing water destroys almost everything in its path. If you think about a wall of water 10, 10 foot high, being pushed by 155 mile an hour winds. That's like repeated impacts by a, a large vehicle, say an SUV hitting a structure every you know, five seconds, boom, boom, boom. The backside of the hurricane is now slamming into Punta Gorda. The damage and risk of storm surge, immense. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Punta Gorda. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.